Okay, y'all. I'm about to hit the shop and record some heat for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got this tutorial I'm gonna do. Uh, it was the famous T. The famous, my client I did the famous T on. I'm gonna do the drop fade on today. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, first I'm gonna start off with the one and a half guard. I'm gonna make sure I don't go too too low, but we want to keep it low and dark though. We we for sure like it low and laid. I know some waivers like to keep it thick, two guard, two and a half guard, but that's not what I do with this client. I like to get it low and smooth, and you will see how it come out in the end. So yeah, I'm gonna do a drop fade. Let's get it. Okay, right here I'm gonna start at the bottom of the box because we knock off the C cups, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna slant it I'm gonna slant it a little bit in the back. Uh, I like to do a mid drop fade on him, so I'm not going too low, but I'm not going too high, and it's just gonna be the perfect blend once we get everything blended.
Okay, right here y'all gonna see me grab my Beyblitz. I'm gonna go up about a good inch. Since we're gonna do it not too high but not too low, an inch is gonna be perfect for the type of blend I'm about to do on uh, So yeah, and then I go halfway and then I go fully closed and y'all just gonna see me playing around in this next clip, so yeah. Okay, it's still a few little spots I don't like, so I'm going to grab my Slimline Pros and just use my corners just to detail a little bit more. You guys want to remember, this is the most important part of the fade, the first guideline, so you want to make sure you really take out your time and detail this, detail this guideline.
I'm gonna do the same thing in the back, go up about an inch, make sure you're keeping it proportional with the guideline on the side, go up about an inch, and this, this is another tip, guys. When the hair is growing in another direction, you want to make sure you go with the hair flow. If the hair is going growing to the right, it's not going to cut evenly if you just cut up and down. You want to make sure you turn your clippers and just get comfortable and just, you know what I'm saying, just get comfortable with it. Go against the grain. Okay, right here I grab my one and a half guard and I'm gonna go up about an inch and then I'm gonna I'm gonna start open and then I'm gonna close it but then I'm gonna go back just to knock out the top a little bit more I'm gonna use my two guard I don't know why I didn't start with it but yeah so I'm gonna use my two guard just to lay it down even more and y'all will see that so yeah
Okay, right here, I'm going to grab my one guard. And I am using my Andy's cordless magic clip, guys. Uh, I'm thinking about switching over to the Fade Masters, cordless Fade Masters, because I was a fan of the corded Fade Masters. So, y'all might see me switching over soon. But, yeah, I'm attacking this middle line. First, I'm going to start off open. Then, I'm going to go halfway close. And then, I'm going to go fully close. Y'all know the routine. And sometimes, when I'm in my bigger guards, I just skip to open to fully close. Sometimes, guys, sometimes.
Right here, I'm just gonna lay the head down even more with the one with the half guard. Really, just laying them waves down so everything can just smooth together. You know what I'm saying? So everything can just blend in together and just be a smooth transition. Okay, right here I got my Fade Masters out, and I'm just going to detail. Y'all know I love detailing, you know what I'm saying? That's what really separate the cut and just take it to another level. You want to make sure you go in and detail every time, every cut. Okay, y'all, so my camera cut off when I started this lineup, but good thing I checked it. So I'm really just lining it up with my babeless, making sure the corner's sharp. You want to make sure you stand the corners up. That'd that be a lot of things when clients come to me. They say they barber don't stand their lineups up. And you know what I'm saying? Barbers just have a problem with that. So y'all want to make sure y'all try to get that 90 degree angle at all times. So basically this the cut, y'all see it faded, I'm still going back in, just detailing, touching up little spots, but yeah, this is my mid fade, drop fade, whatever you want to call it, it's blended, it's perfected, you know what I'm saying, got the waves laid, one and a half up top, you see how, you see what I meant by with using a two guard just to blend that top part in with the top of the waves, not going too low, but just giving it a shape, you know what I'm saying? You could shape, shape in his head, you know what I'm saying? You don't want everything to just look like, you don't want it to just like wait, you want it to look like just a smooth transition, just butter. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if y'all want more full tutorials on this page, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be dropping heat, you know what I'm saying? Give me feedback on what y'all think, I'm never afraid to take criticism give me criticism give me tips give me give me everything you know what I'm saying tell me what y'all want to see so I can know what type of content to post for y'all and yeah we out let's get it